Welcome to the homework for Lesson 17. This is Module 2 of Grade 1. Write your name first. And we're matching the number sentence to the picture or to the number bond. We have some number bonds and we have some pictures here. 13 minus 7. <clears throat> so what we're looking for here is a hole of 13. This is two five group rows. That's an 11. Uh, this has a hole of 13, and this has a hole of 13. This does not. It has 10, 6. This is a hole of 16, right? Because there's a 10 group here, and 6 more. So it's one of these two. And which one subtracts 7? Well, this one subtracts 8, and this one subtracts 7. So this has to be 13 is 10 and 3. Take 7 from... 10 and you have 3 left so this 3 and that 3 make 6 these two match up 16 minus 8 well what we looked at before there's only one of them that has a hole of 16 and it's this guy down here so here's 16 right there's 10 and 6 more and we have do we have 8 crossed off 5 6 7 8 so we have 10 here, right? So that's 10 with 2 left. 2 plus 6 is 8. It's another way to look at 10. These go together. And now this one needs a hole of 11. So this has 11 right here. So these two match up. And I can see from this 10 group here, it's 10 minus 8. 8 and there's 1, 2, 3 left. And 13 minus 8. 13 is a 10 and a 3. If I subtract the 8 from the 10, I'll have 2 left. And then I add whatever's that, right, to so that 10. So there's only 2 left there. Add it to the 3. 5 is all that's left. Number 2. Show how you would solve 14 minus 8 either with a number bond or a drawing. So 14 minus 8. We need a lot of minus 9. This is minus 8. So 14 is 10, 4. All right, 10 minus 8 is 2. So there's not only going to be 2 left from that 10. And that 4 is still going to be there. So we add the leftovers back together to have 6. Now we're circling 10 and subtracting. So Milo has 17 rocks. He throws 8 of them into a pond. How many does he have left? So circling 10. There's our 10, 10 frame right there. Or you might see two five groups in a row of 10 at the top. Either one will work because it's just a 10. And I'm going to cross out 8 from this 10 knowing there's 2 left because 8 and 2 make 10. So we have 5, 6, 7 over here because it's 10, 7, 17, right? That's, there's 7 over here. And 2 more is 9. He has 9 rocks left. Draw and circle. Now we have to draw our picture. Lucy has $12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. She spends 8. That means there's going to be 2 left, right? How much money does she have left? So these 2 plus those 2, 4. Twelve minus eight equals four. <clears throat> Draw in circle ten. Use a number bond to break apart the teen number and subtract. Or draw in circle 10 or use a number bond. Okay, so I'm gonna use a number bond. Sean has 15 dinosaurs. pen won't write again. 
which John has. 15 dinosaurs. He gives 8 to his sister, so 15 is going to be 10 and 5. We're subtracting 8 he gives away, and he gets to keep the rest. I'm trying to finish that equal sign, but my pen won't write. So when I take 8 from this 10, I'm going to have 2 left, and I add the leftovers back together. 2 plus the 5 is 5, 6, 7. Sean keeps 7 dinosaurs. Use the picture to fill in the math story and show a number sentence. Uh, let's look like we have <clears throat> a 10 group on the first row, and then we have 8 on the bottom row. So 10 and 8 is 18. Right? So 18 clouds in the sky. My pen's not writing again. And how many are crossed out? Looks like eight are left. Eight are crossed out. And how many are left? There's the bottom eight and two more. There are ten left. So that's 18 minus eight equals ten. There's the number sentence. And it says, try it. Can you show how to solve this problem with a number bond? Okay, so that's how it's the solution with a picture. We'll show it with a number bond. 18 minus 8 equals my pen <laughs> will not. There we go. Uh, so that's 10 and 8. And I subtract 8 from the 10 here. There's going to be 2 left there. 2 plus 8 is 10. 